Hey guys, welcome back to Project Tube. Today is six days after I installed my first package of bees in the hive. Today we're gonna do a hive inspection. Now I've been inspecting the hive pretty much every day since I put them in, checking the feeder on the top and making sure that they have plenty of syrup so that they can get well established. Now today we're gonna specifically check for comb production. All the frames that I put in there to date have been bare, just plastic frames. So they need to build them all out and get the comb going. Uh, the next would be brood production. We wanna see if the queen has been laying. Now, uh, the second day they released the queen and I marked her, I'll show some clips of that right here. Uh, so we know the queen's free, we know they've accepted her. She needs comb to start laying eggs, so that's a number one important thing. Uh, and then see what their nectar and their pollen stores. They've been getting pollen uh, on them. I've seen them going in with large amounts of pollen on the pollen sacks. So that's a good thing. We know they're getting food. It's beautiful out here, plenty of flowers. So there's plenty of forage for them to do that. And then the last thing we need to do is make sure to top up their feed uh, with syrup. Uh, I noticed yesterday it was kind of fermenting, so I replaced it. And I think they've already all, already gone through. It was like four cups I replaced it for. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, so stick around. All right, first things first, we need to get the lid off here. And there is the feeder, as you can see, and you can see that it's almost dry. It is almost dry. So these bees have almost eaten all of that up uh, completely. So we're going to go ahead and put this back over here. I'll set this to the side. And then I'm gonna get my gloves on here. And we will open this guy up. Now I'm not using smoke. I haven't used smoke yet, but I actually did get my first sting today um, on the hand when I was mo moving my actual suit around, to be honest with you. So we're just gonna slide this over to the side. And here's the girls. That's not too bad. We got some good looking bees in here. Definitely some good looking bees. A hive tool out here. Let's check some of these frames right here. There's a little bit of comb drawn on that one. Not much. Same thing on the other side. But I wouldn't expect too much. That's uh, that's uh, on the outside. They'll usually start drawing comb from the center first. You can see here they have a little piece of comb right there. Not much. A little chunk. As we go further into the center here, I expect more comb to be drawn out so right there we got some good comb and also it's full of nectar or sugar syrup and some pollen in there too if you can see that so that's good that's good news Let's flip this over more comb on this side again nectar and pollen This, this uh, frame is almost completely drawn out with comb, and I'm seeing something really nice right in here. There are eggs. There are eggs in here. I don't know if, if you guys will be able to see those or not, but that means that we have a laying queen, and that's good news. She laid within the last, I believe, three days. We have some pollen in here with some nectar. All looking good. I don't see the queen on here. Oh, here she is. Here's the queen right here with the red mark on her. She's looking really good. Right there, she's dipping her head in some of these combs. I marked her red for the year. The year that ends in 20, or ends in three is for red. And that way you can tell how old your queen is. So that's good. Let's see how much comb we got on this 
frame right here. Yep, almost completely drawn out here and eggs in this frame as well. And look, they got big old comb things there. I don't know what they're doing there, why they're doing that. Probably because there was no comb, so they were probably panicking. And I think the last one would look at this one. A little bit of comb, a little bit more over here. So far, I think they're doing really good. We got eggs, we got comb, we got stores. They're storing stuff, pollen and the, and the honey. I got just st two stings on my, my thing here. I think I'm gonna have to start using smoke because they're getting more and more crazy here. I did smash them, so that's partly my fault. Go ahead and stick that there. We'll put this one back in. We'll wind these up. I think everything looks very good for the first week. I'm impressed. We got everything that we should be seeing on there. So we'll go ahead and close this guy up. We'll slide this back on here. Try not to smash any bees. That should make them a bit happier. We'll go ahead and put this back on here. Get out of there, Miss Lady. I saw a video the other day of another beekeeper. He uh, names his hive and his queens. And so I think we're gonna name this queen Belinda, B Linda. If you don't like that name, well, get your own hive and name it yourself. But this queen will be named B Linda, and so far, B Linda is doing really well. So, we're going to add some more syrup to this. Let me see. go grab it. I don't want it next to the hive when I was doing my inspection. And then we'll just slowly add it because these bees down at the bottom of that feeder is uh, I don't want to drown them so I just let them get out of the way as we slowly do this this is just a mixture of water and sugar one to one ratio um, I had some pollen some dry food in there before but like I said it was fermenting so I'll, I'm just going with this one to one syrup ratio and we'll feed this to them for about a month uh, maybe less um, until that cone's drawn out really nicely, I think is when I'm going to feed it till them to it. There's going to be plenty of forage for them, so really, it's just precautionary. They should be able to get plenty of stuff around here. So, that is it, guys. That is our week one hive inspection. If you guys enjoyed this and you want to see more, hit like and subscribe. And I will see you guys probably next week. Thanks for watching.